the reason for starting the feeder today, we've just come off um, two days ago of having four inches of uh, ice on the lake. It's just melted yesterday. Um, the lake has lost a lot of its colour. Obviously the fish are not moving around. Um, so there's nothing for them to colour the water. The fish haven't coloured the water up. So with a bit of a disturbance on the bank today, I always tend to like to start on the feeder on these snake, well, these small snake lake type lakes. Not, not close enough to fish the pole to the island, but nice range of like 20 to 25 metres away. Um, so yeah, with bank, bankside disturbance, I always like to start on the feeder. I would like to work myself back to, back to me if you like. If you like. With how cold it's been the last couple of days, starting on the maggot feeder, I think there's a lot more fish in the lake What would also eat um, the maggots, roach, perch, small skimmers, um, F1s and even the odd carp. But where pellets on a feeder or a method or fishing with a boilie, it narrows me down really just to catching F1s, carp and the odd skimmer. So I feel fishing with maggots, you're never overfeeding your peg. Where the maggot feeder, I can drop the feeder in various different spots, a bit like the pole, but I never feel like I'm putting too much bait into the peg. Um, the reason for the inline maggot feeder is I just find it a bit more, um, a bit more finesse really. Because I see everything moving on the tip, even small roach bites, um, or even F1s. But I feel that when they pick the pick the hook up, they can move the move the tip instead of moving the feeder and the fish swims out your peg a lot easier instead of uh, bolting off the a fixed feeder. In normal match conditions, fishing the uh, starting off on the feeder, how long would I normally give it? Well, that can d depend on bites, really. Might be first cast, you get an indication or some bites, or you might just look for indications. Most of the time, I give it to 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how many fish I've caught. Great thing with a feeder, you can sit there and look around the lake and see what else is going on. The other anglers might be fishing the short pole, long pole, or even chucking a feeder. Or even another tactic like a waggler or something else like that. So it gives you a great opportunity to see what, what's happening on the lake, how it's fishing, um, and what's being caught really, and what, what area of the lake. I'll give it, like I say, 45 minutes to that, the hour, see how it's going. If, it's, if it's, the rod's moving, it's going round, I'll stick on it as long as I can until I feel priming up priming the pole lines for as long as you can and they could turn out to be some great lines later on in the match then.